Okay, Ezra Miller, I won't watch anything <laughs> that you're yeah. in. You know? Mel Gibson and Kevin Sorbo in. <laughs> oh, the movie I'll never watch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yourself, the movie. Yeah, I can't think of other names off the top of my head. Maybe like um, Steven Seagal. Yeah, that was the one I was just saying. <laughs> like, like that's that's about the only other one I can think of. I don't know. I mean, he's not up to much anymore. Don't say that too loud because he has nothing better to do than probably try to sue us for the no money we have. That's fair enough. Times were tough. <laughs> so I sold my soul. <laughs> so, uh, well, you want to watch uh, this? I don't think I'll ever regain control. Hey, Internet! Highway 47 is doing the trendy thing that the kids like and watching a, a sci-fi TV show from a few months ago that is, like, reflective of a sci-fi TV show from 30 years ago. I'm Shaggy B, and with me is Draco Funk. Hey, I'm, I'm, I am here. I've made it. That's right. And with us also is Scrodrick. Uh, despite my best efforts... That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Better luck next time, kiddo. <laughs> Bring your A game. That's right. <laughs> Get good, son. <laughs> well, you know, I did that experiment where it's like, how many 12-year-olds can you fight? Well, turns out quite a few. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's what the alarm was. <laughs> you know, it's- you know. But speaking of fighting a bunch of 12-year-olds, we're watching The Orville Season 3, Episode 7, From Unknown Graves tonight, and Draco Funk's going to tell us all about it. This episode originally aired uh, July 14th. Like, what is the seventh month? <laughs> this is 7-tober. Seven, <laughs> seven the seventh month the twelfth day. Of July, the day yeah. <laughs> July 14th, 2022. In the um, year of our Lord. <laughs> I was going to say that, and then I, I'm like, yeah, I won't say that. And then yeah. <laughs> you just blurted it right out. Yeah. Um, so it has an IMDb rating of... Which ha- it has went down since we originally <laughs> recorded uh. it. It has an IMDb rating of 8.5. When I recorded Ooh. it the first time, it was 8.8. So it's went down Ooh. 3. Mm, that's but, weird. Hmm, Okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe they found some of the graves. And and, you know, speaking of graves, we're recording this in October. Oh yeah, we are. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can tell because the trees are orange. Yes, this will come out after October, though. Yeah, I can tell because it's the drizzling (laughs) outside. (laughs) (laughs) We had the drizzling ice. Earlier this week. <laughs> oh, I hate those. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, if you're watching the, if you're watching this the day it came out, it's um like November. So that's right. And and speaking of the drizzling, shits, we're watching this on Disney Plus. And Scrodrick, tell us all about how that works. Hey, Disney Plus is better than some of the other streaming services. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> give your money to Disney, Papa Arr. Disney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walt Disney is looking upon you from his cryogenically frozen state. Uh, <laughs> God, what if they hooked him up to the internet? That would be awful. Uh, anyhow, so what you're going to want to do, go to DisneyPlus.com and then pay for a subscription because you have to give them money. And uh, then you probably have to click on the uh, magnifying glass and search for the O and that still works. Click on the Orville to go down and do, uh, click on Season 3, because it doesn't seem to like to remember that I've been watching Season 3. And you'll have to hit the, the arrow to go over to the right and pick Episode 7. Click it, plus press play, pause, hit the 10-second rewind, then we'll give you a 5-second countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go, and uh, you'll be synced up with us, most likely. Probably. Probably. That's right. While you were talking, I, I had a realization. I think... I think when they did hook up Walt Disney's like cryogenically desiccated corpse up to the internet, that what happened was it got downloaded into like like an Android golem, and what we got was Mark Zuckerberg. Oh god! Mm. I think that's what happened. Mm. 
But anyway, this is the Orville Season 3, Episode 7 from Unknown Graves, and we're going to start it together in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Ooh, blue thing. It's like a space car. It's like a future... Germar. He's gonna wet himself. Omar. Uh. Oh my god, product! Oh, that's much bigger than I thought it was. Huh. That's so much easier when I moved him. Laundry center into my place last week and then it immediately broke. Well, it took three days, but you know. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, God, send it back. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's a problem. <laughs> um, oh. Don't skip the intro. Don't skip the intro. I saw a button come up, and I'm so used to skipping YouTube ads now because there's so many f***ing ads on YouTube that I almost actually reflexively went and clicked it. Man, so is this like iRobot except it's (laughs) iKalon? Well, iRobot would imply that they have rules against harming people. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't, but wasn't the whole point of iRobot was the rules against killing people actually made them want to kill people? I never finished the novel, but <laughs> the movie, I think, went that direction. <laughs> I did watch the movie, I just didn't care. <laughs> Well, and once again, it was one of those movies that kind of changes the plot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, well, I, I read enough of the novel to realize pretty quickly that the movie was not anything close to the spirit of the novel. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that was <laughs> like the Will Smith trend of getting pretty deep novels and then changing them. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, what was the other one? The zombie one. Oh, um, um, I Am Legend. Uh, I Am yeah, yeah. something. I Am Legend. There we go. I Am. Yeah. Man. That poor that the dog man. Mm-hmm. We're back. Yeah, dramatic music. A spinning camera shot. Uh. Oh. Um. That's. Oh. Um. oh. <laughs> It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Spent the whole season lifting weights so that he could look good for that shot. Uh huh. Just the quick bone healer. I can see her bra through her shirt. How oh scandalous. My God. <laughs>
I'm glad they're giving him some opportunity to be out of the suit for a while. Yeah. Is that how Pedro Pascal felt? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Are they in the simulator? Ha ha ha. Yeah, they're I yeah, they are, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's how he's <laughs> able to, you know, be like that. He doesn't carry around the mobile emitter thing. Whoa, what's... <laughs> sorry, my phone made a noise and I was confused by it. I was like, holy sh you're reacting really dramatically to what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just the, 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 the sexual tension between these two is. Um, reputable. Huh. Well, good thing they've got Ed Mercer as the captain. I, 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 I really hope I hope that I his really, idea wasn't my idea. I, I <laughs> Oh no. <clears throat> I I kinda hope I don't I Hmm. I uh, I don't know what your idea is, Shaggy. Let's just not go into what my idea was. Don't hit the fighter. Oh, no. Don't hit the fighter. Dude, they had to like kind of strafe <laughs> over. <laughs> They're like, oh Jesus, they put that thing right in the way. This is very Mars ish. Yep, that's better than okay. okay. I'll take that. That's fine. That no, better, no problem there. Better than what I was thinking. Yep. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> nice. Two. <laughs> <laughs> you know just a little slapstick in there <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> that the exact right amount of uh <clears throat> seth MacFarlane humor exactly mm -hmm. the right amount amount that's why i love this season <laughs> yeah yeah they got the balance really really good <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh-oh. <laughs> Your daughter. <laughs> oh. Huh. <clears throat> oh, okay. That wasn't like the planet morphing into. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh, beats. Kind of beats in a while. I don't know if I've ever had beats. What the f***? What the f***? You know? Eat some f***ing beats, man. He's got kind of a Cesar Chavez going on. <laughs> Remember when he played the Joker and like they wanted him to shave his mustache and he refused? And he eventually won, so they just painted over it with makeup?
Hmm. Well, that's kind of a cool canyon. I guess it's a fault line. I was wondering if they were going to change their uniforms before they went down. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if they come back, you know, <laughs> yeah, they have to be ready, right? That would make for an interesting plot point. <laughs> it's Kong. What if it's Khan? Could be Khan. Is there air here? Do you know? <laughs> I mean, there was a whole, you know, mining outpost there, so probably. It was also raining. That's a pretty good indicator. <laughs> Just because there's air there doesn't mean you can breathe it. Well, that's true. Well, they had that landing pad out in the open. Also true. I find Bordas' shirt's a different shade. Well, there's engineering and security, so there are two shades of red. Really? Okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he he washed it. Yeah, like if you look at like the the insignia on the chest, like I think Gordon's has gears on it, and then uh, yeah, if Bordas has a different one, that means he's wearing a different uniform. Yeah, he's wearing a security uniform. Okay, well, that makes sense. Man, I don't know if I'd get in the strange elevator. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's not like they have anything better to do. Yeah. Go down into the lava. Yeah. Go down into that level from Sonic 06 where the walls are all glitched out and you can climb up nothing. Oh, good. It's the test chamber from that episode of Next Gen where they, like, cut people's arms off for fun. Schisms. That's, like, one of my we favorite have... episodes. It's a really good episode. It's definitely alien text. It's made of hexagons. Uh... Uh. Uh. Hmm. Commercial break. We. Back. Woo. All he's done is turn me into this weird cat monster. Brains exploded.
from Kalon Brain Explosion Lasers. <laughs> hmm. I like the Bordas is showing a little more emotion in general lately too. Well, with Clyden gone, he has nobody like pushing that. Yeah, he's not mind is on him. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, how do you know the, the those are male? <laughs> Yeah, this is the episode that tells you how much the overall's been upgraded because it right. was 10, 10 light years per hour. Nice. So sorry for the light spoilers a few episodes That's ago. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> What, guys? <laughs> ah, okay, I see what they're doing. No. You don't have to do this. He never gets dumped. <laughs> Uh, my teeth <laughs> yeah just Denise imagine like a little out. slip up and
I think you're the one who has to be careful. <laughs> Don't. You, you should, like, you were doing a thing. You should go back and do that. So, how long until they walk in? Uh, okay. So, are these guys the original Halon creators? I was kind of thinking they might be the uh, the original builders. <laughs> That's <laughs> well, I just had a cat jump on my lap. <laughs> um... And leave them to alone to not cause any problems. Uh, uh, Maybe don't. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is a start. Uh, Can he feel temptation? Uh, I can see Isaac breathing harder. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Are we going to have like robot sex? Like two robots having sex? No. I, I just imagine the, the robot from uh, Robot Chicken like pumping a dryer. Yeah. <laughs> pumping a dryer. <laughs> you seen mm -hmm. that? No.
Kermit's in a very submissive pose, too. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to get there with a broken leg? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> uh... You, you'd be amazed what some people <laughs> are motivated to do with broken limbs. Well, fair enough. That would be awful. <laughs> <laughs> Carry him. By his neck. <laughs> no, I just want to see him carrying him under the arms like a child. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh god, a fractured pelvis. Yeah. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> Which fracture? <laughs> That's the thing, like people oh, always mistake oh, fractures oh. and breaks, it's the same thing. Yeah, it is the same thing. <laughs> Recalls didn't build this penthouse. Um.
something we can charge money for. Not really. Uh, uh. I think I figured out how to sell my stock without anybody noticing. <laughs> but yeah, AI ethics issues, that's mm -hmm. something I could see happening in our lifetime. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> And the way they're handling that, I could see that happening too. I do yes and. Hmm. They probably don't like Mocklins. I just realized that. I would think not. Those mm -hmm. are like some pretty tasty squash. Man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. A woman Game more. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, um. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
That didn't go well. So that whole easing in thing. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> like facial expressions this whole episode have been great too. I really like single boardists. <laughs> <laughs> Making a lot of progress there, actually. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. Ouch. Oh. 
God. And of course, since it's, you know, like Android time, this took place over a period of maybe what, <laughs> you know, a week or two. <laughs> mm. I mean, it probably took longer than that for the people to get so sadistic, though. I hope so. I would like to think so. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously not that long, because the kids were roughly the same age. Yep. Now they've got giant uh, adhesive wall hooks in their planet. Oh, wait. No, there's a lights. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. oh, no. Oh, they have the memory foam pillows. Got a crack in her armor. Yep. Yeah, it just took a slavery is awful talk, you know? All right. <sighs> right. I do like the uh, two-story quarters that she has. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's what she and Ed have those, which uh, makes sense. Yeah. Well, okay. Um. Or make therapy sound a lot worse. Yeah, completely fundamentally change your entire personality from the bottom up, because it would be nice for me.
A pelvement. <laughs> <laughs> I like that that was a real suggestion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I still think he feels emotion in his own way. Well, and it's, you know, it's... You know... We, 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 we think of this in sci-fi as like a binary thing. You know, and I'm sure it's not. I mean, even among humans, there's there's a spectrum of the depth to which people experience emotion, you know. Kind of a cast on a skull. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> She's going to end up with Bordis. We all know it. Yeah, there was definitely some anxiety in that. I wonder how many different takes they took for that one line. Yes, just to see which one was, you know, gave exactly the right amount of anxiousness away. Mm -hmm.
Am I the only one not really quite getting this? Well, she did a action that is like the Genesee women do, so they're like. Okay, it just it seems like it should be a little more than that, but okay. I'm just I don't know. Well, I, I, I think it's a it's a cultural thing where they need some sort of common ground where it's like right it's a posturing thing I think yeah although they aren't as bad as the Mocklins where it's like oh you've wronged us and we're gonna bitch until you know something mm -hmm. yeah I don't know Of course, he has perfect penmanship. It's like robotic. You would think he'd like write like a, you know, like a dot matrix printer. He used his cranial laser guns to blast the lace into that paper, you know. <laughs> Don't come in here. I'm crafting. <laughs> Don't ask me where I keep my 3D printer. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, it's like red foil. Rocking it, though. And she's over 60 now, so she was probably like 59 when they filmed this. I was so, going to say, I mean... What yeah. was the title of this episode again? Uh, so, uh, unknown, from Unknown Graves. What what if this doesn't go right? I don't mean just like them. Yeah. Uh, no, most of them need her to live, actually. She's, like, the only doctor. How's Lamar doing? Does he taste like steel? <laughs> no, holograms, man. <laughs> Are Kalon's grass? <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, in real talk, though, I'm super impressed with his acting here. Mm-hmm.
Hmm. Um. Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, father of her children that he already has. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's. So I was kind of, kind of wondering. I feel like I've heard that singer on Postmodern Jukebox. Uh, who sang that? Now it's the companion cube, it's broken.
That went in an interesting direction. I can't find who sang that song. Like emotions and writing a sci fi plot. Since I'm single now, <laughs> and so are you. <laughs> you know, Tala couldn't break him. That's a good point. Well, I'm glad they're resolving that, though. Yeah, at least to a point. You know, maybe she won't be such a, you know, just fly off the handle like, you know, permission to shoot this thing now. Yeah. So I don't know if it's the same person, but Sarah Gazarek is credited as, Gazarek. as being the jazz singer. That's probably the person then. Did, well, remember, they had somebody singing in the hollow, well, the simulator. Right. Now don't go to the next episode. <laughs> um, doesn't mean it's the person who recorded it. Mm, true. So, so the song, by the way, is close enough for love. It was. It's a Tony mm. Bennett song. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, he seems like a Tony Bennett kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can't. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one that sang it in this episode because they're pretty good about having mm -hmm. people actually perform things. Oh yeah, I mean like I mean, you know, my instinct is always took the bass player from that one because of uh the binar episode of Next Gen where they just had, like <laughs> they just gave a guy a bass and he just kind of touched it now and then, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh but no, I, I that was pretty good. Um I think that episode could have been better as two episodes. Mm -hmm. Um, just, I don't, I don't think the two plots really connected well enough for me. Um, 
and not that they necessarily have to, but like, you know, the great episodes with subplots, you know, they're, they're interwoven a little better. Um, and I'm saying that only because with the IMDb rating being in the mid to high eights, <laughs> you know, a high eight or a nine implies, you know, exceptional things like that to me. How, how so, would you rate it? Um, maybe I'm going to say 7.9 for that reason. Like that's about my only flaw. Like the only thing that I really have to criticize about it is it seemed, it seemed disjointed because of that. But other than that, I mean, I liked both of the plots. I think they were well done. They both made me think and really consider a lot of things, which is good. So very good, but just the structure seemed a little like, huh, I wonder why they did it that way. But yeah, probably necessity. <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like probably. We, we only have this many episodes for this season and we might not get any more after this. So Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's what it was. Yeah, but no, I would have liked to have seen more of the, the Kalon genocide plot. Like, mm-hmm. it was really interesting to see. Oh, very much, yeah. Um, and the Genesee plot is cool too seeing how they're treating you know the males and all that but it was (laughs) they kind of all fucked it up in the meeting room you know but yeah whatever and and the the c plot with john getting injured (laughs) that was great like i don't know i enjoyed it so like it like an eight's fine like i'm fine with that yeah So, so this time last time i was the lowest rated this time i'm the highest yeah and so I I gave it an eight point seven because you know it's a and, and I hear your point. I feel like this it had too many plots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it had an A, B, and C plot. Yeah. I would say yeah. even, well, it, even it had a D plot because it had yeah, that's like the A plot was the Genesi the or was it? You had the Genesi, you had the Kalon, then you had. The Isaac's emotions, Isaac, Isaac, his emotions and his relationship with Claire, mm-hmm. and then yeah. you know, which I, which I guess that would kind of link to the two, but well, yeah, you want to link all the plots together, yeah, eventually better than that, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, really, it was like two A and B plots, mm-hmm. yeah, it it was the the two Kalon plots, and it was the Genesee plus John and Tala, yeah. So yeah, that was probably two episodes that they mushed into one. And and just for completeness, I just looked up the runtime for that episode, 74 minutes. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that's almost twice as long as, you know, an hour episode of something on TV these days. So, yeah, they could have mm-hmm. they could have mm-hmm. split that, but yeah. Well, anyway, join us next time for the next episode we watch. Um cuz I got to piss like a fucking racehorse. So, uh, I'm going to go do that and then uh we'll see you next time. Good night everybody. Good night. Good night.